Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 27th of April 2021. So the dollar drops, crypto pop reflects crazy people running the system, and there's plenty of them, I'm sure you will agree. Now, Bitcoin is a bet against a centralized financial system run by crazy people. It is a bet that the emperor has no clothes. Uh, certainly the case, uh, the amount of money they're printing. Uh, interesting, last night I went out for a walk, came back, and as I just walked past the study, uh, I noticed this, that stock suddenly uh, puked on massive volume as uh, prices dropped. No idea what it was. Nobody seems to know what it was. Uh, this is what it looked like uh, in the Dow. I'll just grab the chart for you. And there you can see it uh, dropping quite uh, sharply down to the DP there. But, uh, as nobody knows, of course they don't. Somebody offloading. As good as it gets, Goldman... Uh, is the last bank to turn bearish, sees market dropping in co uh, coming months. Yeah, not surprised uh, really if that uh, is the case. Uh, it seems to be struggling a lot, which is why it's sideways. Nobody wants to buy it, nobody wants to sell it. And no doubt, uh, again, there's this news from the Fed. Any suggestion the Fed was totally wrong, again, uh, would send markets into a tailspin. An irretrievable bear market uh, as well. Um, Fed should start tapering now. You can see we've got this theme building as well. Uh, they're printing, I think it's 120 billion a month uh, to keep everything supported, but I can't remember now. There's that many schemes that they've got going printing. It's very difficult to work out what is and what isn't. But one thing's for sure, buckle up, inflation is here. Uh, the number of mentions of inflation during earnings calls uh, jumped the most on record. The number of mentions has historically led uh, CPI by a quarter with 52% correlation and points to a robust rebound in inflation ahead. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The, there is uh, inflation en route because at the grocery store, as they say in the US, imminent as egg futures surged the most in eight years. Uh, the Fed foolishly cheers this. Consumers sure don't. The Fed have been wanting inflation for years to inflate their way out of the bubble. Uh, sorry, the debt bubble that they've created, and uh, now they're getting their wish. Uh, metal boom, copper hits 10-year highs amid supply constraints. That's the interesting bit there. And uh, we are in for a good run higher. Um, this is, this is uh, the reason I'm hesitating is I'm just thinking about this and the correlation to silver with all of the physical being bought up now by investors. Uh, we could uh, see a situation not too dissimilar to this. Uh, we're in for a good run higher. We are having supply issues, and that's just going to, of course, force prices higher. Uh, speaking of silver, will crypto weakness push silver prices higher? If the crypto represents a flight from fiat currency and also the centralized system, as I said earlier, then a move out of crypto should lead into the ultimate non-fiat currency, gold. And gold's playmate, uh, silver, absolutely, is uh, the answer to that. And in particular, of course, uh, if we see uh, uh, this uh, with uh, inflation continuing to move higher, which we're going to. So, yeah, the future's uh, not looking too bright uh, as far as uh, stock market's concerned. Inflation and most certainly consumers. And this is going to impact uh, across the board, of course. Uh, the implied volatility spiking up uh, yesterday as the market puked in the last half hour, uh, sending this up to uh, 14.75. Meanwhile, the yields remain the same. And news for today, before we look at the markets, uh, we can see we just got the one news item today. That's at uh, 3 p.m. CB Consumer Confidence. So it's a no news Tuesday. The market having to make up its own direction and mind. So this is the Dow. We can see at uh, the all-time highs here, the market uh, volatile, a bit calmer yesterday, uh, trying to move back to the upside uh, once more, which is no surprise. They're going to try and keep this going for as long as they can, and possibly the direction uh, for today, given there's no news. Uh, however, uh, yesterday the market did uh, manage just to uh, move down all Throughout the, the session in the Dow there, you can see that started off moving higher and then just drifted uh, lower by 200 points from uh, this high to when the market uh, uh, vomited later on into the uh, 
Dow end of session uh, trading there. In the DAX, I'll find the DAX, it's uh, here. Uh, also uh, yesterday, this moving lower in the morning session, then recovering in the afternoon, a lot narrower in range. Uh, interesting bar here because we've got a lot more volume than the previous bar, but uh, the range is narrower, so there was some selling pressure around, but the market again following the Dow at the moment above the 50% uh, fib there needs to close above that 62 which i thought we were going to do yesterday morning but then we just run out of steam completely so yesterday's high is going to uh, have to be taken out in order to move higher so let's have a look see where we are overnight uh, the dax also were uh, moving lower with the dow but nothing of any great range compared to the dow and then overnight to so the market opening at the dp 200 ma and then trading below it but now you can see uh, as if by magic we're back above the 200 and the dp and uh, back at the 15,300 level these are the levels that need to be taken out in order to move higher and get above the 62 percent retracement in the daily chart in the metals markets uh, again I'm, I'm staggered that uh, silver is still managing to hold at uh, these levels it's uh, very interesting and slightly unnerving as well I think we've got the May options expiration tomorrow and there is a rumor that uh, the market will stay above 26 for the reason that most of the volume is at the 26 calls and the 26 puts so I should imagine that this is going to be the case but we could do with uh, the manipulation ending and seeing prices uh, get back through this uh, 2663 and back up to these sorts of levels as well. Once we take this out, or when we take this uh, resistance out of 20 C 2663, then I'll draw in some new fibs to the upside. But uh, yeah, it's uh, say very odd what's uh, going on in this market at the moment, but then that's been the case for years. Uh, the dollar also uh, lower yesterday we got some buying pressure in the dollar on a daily basis uh, which you can see there the volume is greater than the previous day which is Friday's and the range is narrower so a bit of dollar support there for yesterday and uh, gold also trying to move up as well and there's that disconnect at the moment you're seeing the metals trying to move higher and the dollar as well which is unusual because uh, normally they are inverted and you and trade in the opposite direction to uh, one another okay so have a quick look at uh, yesterday's action in a bit more detail uh, in the two minute uh, dax the market uh, up and down already in the futures market there but uh, trending to the upside market opened i thought we were off to the high and the r1 a uh, bit of a battle there in the first uh, 10 minutes or so we do trade up to the high and immediately it's hammered uh, back uh, as traders decide no we don't want to go through the high we had a potential sell signal this uh, wasn't filled and then we move back again to the high and uh, another potential sell signal there that wasn't filled and then through uh, the high but we've got the resistance to the left which needs to be driven through which uh, interestingly enough you can see here that uh, we've got a narrower bar than the previous bar when we got this driving bar here this is the, the one to the left I'm talking about that moving up and then we get this bar here where we've got uh, more volume but then we've got uh, so if we've got more volume in a narrow range we've got resistance and there's some absorption which you can see why because to the left here you've got uh, this resistance so you will find that people will be trying to sell if you want to get through this you're going to have to absorb uh, the selling in order to do it and that's what's going on in this uh, place so we then get a bit more potential weakness we hit the scalp and then uh, decide to uh, exit this trade because uh, it's not going anywhere there was just a, a sense about it and also we had uh, the news coming up as well and it was the right move as the market uh, came back and then just drifted down. Uh, interesting here, although I didn't mark it up, but you've got a 78% uh, retracement there uh, in the Fib retracement. And once you get that at the end of a not move, so you've got this. This is sort of small scale. You've got the market moving up with a, a small correction uh, in between here. Uh, but then you 
come back up and then that's the sort of uh, pattern that you uh, will see in the market and then you'll see this just drifting back down we get back down to uh, these lows over here and then down to uh, the close as well and then prices uh, find a bit of support so you can see the shorts getting out there get a spike in volume bringing it back to the previous day's uh, close and that's more or less where the market stayed in the morning and uh, again you'll see well it drifted lower went through the close because here's the close and then uh, they brought the market uh, back before the Dow opened again you can see that pattern at the top market retraces and then moves lower so there's always plenty of time to get in a trade where it uh, reverses and then uh, continues in its new trend so uh, the afternoon session the market opening up there you can see again a battle going on at uh, this brn you still got the highs say a very quiet day it was sort of a, a repeat of uh, the morning there uh, initially but just look at the amount of uh, struggle and the only thing you can do is have a shakeout if you can't move higher you need to shake out and that's exactly what happened and when you get this sort of uh, volatility that comes out of nowhere you know that uh, any signal you've got on the downside given the bull market in the background it's not going to last and just look at the volume there again less in range than the first selling bar you see barely nothing catches everybody unawares and then this is all this is done is allow the the pros to buy back at this level you got the 200 ma yesterday's close and uh, you can see them buying by the shed load here as they bring the market back so get out if you're wasting your time it's not going to move down when you see that sort of shakeout and they want to bring the market to the upside and that's precisely what uh, they did and once they got back to the high look what happened here they said thanks very much that was a nice move uh, it's, it's not a big move by any means because the distance between these two grey lines are only 12 points or just over 12 and 3 quarters so you can see that we only had a 25 point move back up to there but if you're trading the full futures contract and a thousand of them it's a it's a good uh, 15 minutes uh, work and there you'll see uh, prices uh, again uh, coming back showing a potential sell then another potential buy again let's just shake out a few people and try and bring it back but it was just pointless the market was uh, quiet and again I decided just to uh, get out of the trade because it was doing absolutely nothing and then it just drifted uh, sideways uh, to lower there so all in all it was just a, a quiet uh, day which is what uh, was reflected in uh, the daily chart there we'd moved down to the 20 bar moving average and then we tried to bring it back to the previous day's high which was fridays and then the market uh, struggled but overnight at the moment price is uh, attempting to move back to that high and given there's no news today it's quite possible that it could uh, drive through uh, this uh, level and then up towards that 62 percent retracement which is uh, three four six which is going to be the uh, just below this uh, brn here this uh, minor psychological level and just above these two areas here so uh, it may be worth just placing this on the chart in the form of a, a line get something uh, bright so you can see it and also change this to uh, something a bit uh, thicker wider line there uh, 46 i'll just have a look uh, in this area here when I'm drawing it on uh, 46 is going to be below 50 so there's your 45 46 so that's where this area here you're going to see the uh, resistance from the daily chart there where you've got the 62 percent retracement which needs to be taken out you can see that uh, you know we've had a look at it but uh, not uh, taking it out so it's going to require something significant to drive through uh, this area and that's on the upside if we fail and we take out the dp and the 200 ma then we're looking at yesterday's low on the downside always look at both plan for both uh, but uh, given the backdrop at the moment of the uh, rising lows it looks like there's uh, probabilities of moving to the upside more so than the downside okay that will do it for this one if there is anything else to report i'll let you know but uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one